Okay guys, so if last time we've played a bit with uh, adding a table and data to a table, let's continue by adding a header and a footer to our report. So if we go to this option, uh, to this tab, the reports tab, you have two selections, add page header, and add page footer. Well, they do exactly what the name says. So let's add a page header, header, header. <laughs> and a footer. Of course, by default, this is the, f the size uh, of the two items, but you can uh, play with it by dragging them up and down to adjust the size. And a header and a footer are useless if you do not display any information in, uh, in them. So let's add a tile to, to our page header, header, uh, <laughs> We're going to go to Toolbox, select the text box element, drag and drop it in, uh, in the header. Let's adjust the size a bit. And we're going to give it a name. My top 100 employees. And let's center that, make it a bit bigger, bold, why not? And yeah, that's gonna do it for now. You can see that um, because of the font being bigger, um, the text is not 100% visible and you'll have some small problems when rendering the report. It depends also on the data tools or SSRS version that you're using and also the export that you're trying to, to make with this with uh, this report. Well, it does show up uh, good in our case, but in previous versions of SSRS, uh, this would have been a problem. Okay, so this is how you add a header and a text box to to the header. Of course, you can add text box, whatever you would like in the header, footer, or the body of, uh, of your report. <clears throat> and now, um, in the footer of the page, let's add a timestamp. The timestamp is very useful when uh, running a report and saving it as a PDF, for example. Uh, so let's say you're running a report uh, daily for a couple of months, and at the end of each month, you wanna make an, an analysis of the data in each report. So it's very good to have a timestamp, uh, which is gonna tell us when the report uh, was executed. And we're gonna do that almost in the same way. We're gonna add a text box to the footer of the page. Play a bit with it. Okay. We're gonna to go to text box properties. And in the value section over here, we're gonna press on FX, which is uh, uh, short for function and over here you can write all sorts of functions um, that you would like uh, but for uh, for the purpose of our demonstration we're gonna go to common functions over here we're gonna go in to date and time and let's look for uh, Where is it? Let's choose today. We're gonna double click that. All right. Open it and close it. Press OK. And let's see how the report looks like. I just wanna scroll down to the bottom of the page. Okay, where is it? 
here it is you can see that at the bottom of the at the bottom of the page you will have a timestamp with the execution date of um, of the report so again this can be uh, formatted if you're not interested in seeing the hour and only the date you can choose um, another um, expression over here let's try another one let's try it now now is also very similar to today and oh close the parentheses and leave only now like okay preview Again, let's scroll to the bottom of the page. And here you have it. The timestamp, an exact timestamp of the um, time when this report was executed. Cool, so this is how you add a page header and a page footer, and also adds a bit of content to, to them.